And I welcome you back to the Debritic Channel. Today we are talking about Lake Powell, Lake Mead, Lake Mojave, and Lake Havasu this evening. As it's been a little while since I've done an update and all is well over here. Things are getting better, not worse, so that's good. And we're going right out to windy.com and we are going to look at the weather forecast. Very little precipitation coming into green. It's mainly hitting Montana and then over here as well. You can see that there's a lot of rain over here in Illinois, Indiana, and a swath there. It's been kind of rainy. It's supposed to get really hot in the next several days here in this region. And over here, we are talking about the potential of 1.42 just to the south and east of Telluride. We come up to Telluride, 1.14. We come over to Vell, 0.45. Aspen, 0.37. We come down here to Page. This is Arizona, 0.3. Kanab, you're talking about 0.46. We come down to the Sapa, 0.49. St. George, possibly 0.2. Junction over in Utah, 0.45. And we come over to Flagstaff, which was within the watershed, 0.74. So temperatures are really hot. It's 106 in Lake Havasu right now, 100 in Las Vegas. St. George, 95. Kanab, 89. Page 97, tell you rides a nice comfortable 70 degrees. Cortez over here, you're talking about 0.45. Now, the European model is totally disagreeing with this, so we do have to take that into consideration as Cortez 0.28, tell you rides 0.84, Montrose 0.4, Grand Junction 0.5, Vell 0.35. So it's really hard to say. That's just not a whole lot of rain whatsoever. So we'll see what ultimately happens, and we'll definitely be watching this over like over in page they're calling for about 0.1 which is nothing green river utah is zero so you can see it's very scattered and sporadic according to the european model however the gfs is calling for quite a bit so we'll see what happens ultimately and let's go out to the graphs and see what's going on tonight as we roll out to lake Powell, you can see it peaked just a few days ago, about 42%. Now it's on its decline, just as predicted in my last video. It peaked right around July 8th or so, and now it's really starting to fall. You can see today we're looking at 3,584.60 feet and that was monday july 29th 2024 at 6 p.m the level is 115.40 feet below full pool of 3700 changes since yesterday the lake is down 0 0.50 feet in the last 24 hours the lake is also down 1.36 feet in the last seven days the lake is also down 2.21 feet in the last 14 days the last 30 days the lake is down 0 0.71 feet however over the last 120 days the lake is up 50 15.05 feet not as good of a bump as last year but hey we'll definitely take it 15 feet higher is still 15 feet higher over the last year the lake is up 3.91 feet your inflows are 4,953. Your outflows are 11,006. Three-year bar graph, we're looking at 3,536.20 feet. In 2022, last year we're looking at 3,580.69 feet. Today we're at 3,584.60 feet, so that's good news. We go to your percentage of capacity. We are 42 at the high. We are currently at 39.91%. So that's what we got. Let's hope for a wet fall. Who knows? Prayers will be sent. And let's go down to Lake Mead next. As we roll out to Lake Mead, you can see that the current water level, 1,061.62 feet. And you can see it's starting to rise, which is good news. Not as good as last year, but hey, we will take it. Maybe it'll rise another 15 feet. That would put us at 1,076 feet. So we'll see what ultimately happens. Maybe we'll get more. Who knows? July 29th, 2024 at 6 p.m. The level is 157.98 feet below full pool of 1,219.60 feet. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0 0.06 feet over the last seven days however the lake is down 0 0.29 feet over the last 14 days the lake is down 7.0 feet over the last 30 days the lake is down 0 0.94 feet over the last six months the lake is down 6.43 feet not too bad of a loss for the year only 6.43 feet will take it over the last year the lake is up 0 0.79 feet your inflows are 12,850 your outflows are only 10,192 your three 
two-year bar graph, 1,040.72 feet in 2022, 1,059.80 feet last year, 1,062.05 feet today. We are currently in the red at 33.01. This will go to yellow once we hit 33.33%. So right now it's in the red. Hopefully we'll be back to the yellow very soon. As we roll out to Lake Mojave, your current water level is 642.68 feet. And that was Monday, July 29, 2024 at 6 p.m. The level is 4.32 feet below full pool of 647. Changes since yesterday, the lake is down 0.16 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also down 0.13 feet over the last 7 days. The lake is up 0.12 feet over the last 14 days. The lake is also down 1.69 feet over the last 30 days. 30 days the lake is up 2.35 feet over the last six months and the lake is down well even steven since last year it's the same level so you have that your inflows are 10,600 your outflows are 12,433 three-year bar graph we're looking at 643.95 feet in 22 642.68 feet last year and 642.68 feet today percentage of capacity we're in the blue at 93.62 percent down to the final stop tonight lake Havasu, here we come. Today's water level at Lake Havasu is 449.15 feet. And that was Monday, July 29, 2024 at 6 p.m. The level is 0.85 feet below full pool of 450. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.56 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also up 1.12 feet over the last seven days. The lake is up 1.02 feet over the last 14 days. It's also up over the last 30 days, 0.31 feet over the last six months the lake is up 1.34 feet and over the last year the lake is up 0.76 feet your inflows are 12,800 your outflows are 11,508 three-year bar graph 448.94 feet in 22 448.39 feet last year 449.15 feet today and Lake Havasu's percentage of capacity is 95.5 percent thank you guys for stopping by hope all is well we will see you soon with the full Colorado River update we'll also be talking about california in an upcoming video as well so you guys have a blessed day and we'll see you soon god bless